Hey guys, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Uh, this is a requested one. Uh, by the way, uh, I'd just like to let you all know, you are totally free to request tutorials. I love making tutorials, and I get sad when you don't request them. So, um, anyway, let's get started. <clears throat> this is what we're making. Oh, it's on full again. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. This is what we're making. This is really slow. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, there we go. So you get the get what we're doing. We got this explosiony type thing expanding, kind of a orb, circular explosion, shock wave, and the ground is burning underneath it, as you can see in this shot right here, burning ground, kind of this, whatever. Actually, that can best be seen right now here. There's your burning ground. Ta da! Alright. So, this is kind of a bonus because the original effect did not have this ground burning. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So, go ahead and start by making a new, uh, with a new project. Uh, go ahead and start by making a new comp. Uh, I got it 10 seconds long, 24 frames per second, 24 per frames per, you can read it right there. And then the size is half HD, which is width 720, height 405. Now if I type in 20, uh, 1280, the height goes to 720, which uh, these are high definition dimensions, but I'm going to put it at half. So there we go. Okay. And um, which in my mind half HD is 720 by 405 anyway go ahead and st uh, start by grabbing your footage I've got a picture here I'm just gonna use that uh, put it in your comp and then I'm gonna position mine there we go good now I'm gonna start by um, in the uh, timeline uh, right click new solid I leave it black, same, uh, same dimensions, okay? And then go into effects and controls. And then I'm gonna, uh, mm, yeah, lens flare. Grab a lens flare. Uh, this lens flare right here, complete custom, is one that I made. It's an animation preset and it's really, really good. However, it's not ready for public release yet. I do plan on releasing it soon, but not now. So. Let's go ahead and change this to 105 millimeter uh, because it's blue and I like blue better. And um, go ahead and move it down here. Actually, we need to right click the layer. Uh, actually, let's actually click. All right. Click on the black solid that has your lens flare and hit enter. Now type in flare. So that's our lens flare layer. So whenever I say flare, I mean the lens flare right here. Okay? Good. Right click on the layer flare go to blending mode and then change that to screen uh, is it screen or is it add yeah add works alright now drop down the lens flare and bring the brightness percentage down just a bit now I'm gonna start my explosion on one this is not where the explosion starts this is where it begins it's actually gonna start back here at uh, one half a second so just follow me along at one second for me is where the explosion is going to start means that I'm going to go ahead and at where I like the brightness I'm going to go ahead and click the stopwatch now go back about half a second and then bring the brightness to zero so in that half a second before second one second total um, the first half of I mean the second half of the first second which is this section right here uh, that's green is going to be where the explosion goes from zero to exploding. All right, now let's close up lens flare. We're done with that. And uh, actually, we're not done with it. Sorry. Now go uh, four seconds forward from one second, which is actually five seconds into the video. Drop down lens flare and bring up the brightness to like just, I don't know, extremely bright. Make sure you can see a little bit. Don't make it too bright. 
and uh, now we can close that up. Now let's go back. There. So it kind of just, you know. There. So it kind of just expands as it goes. And uh, it ends at five seconds into the video. My video. I don't know. Whatever. So. There you go. And um, let's go ahead and uh, right click in the timeline. New. Solid. Uh, leave it black. Same dimensions. Okay. And then I'm going to right click in the effects and controls and go down to noise and grain. Fractal noise. And here you go. Now let's drop down uh, fractal type and check terrain? Ew, no. Sorry, wrong thing. Uh, rocky, that's the one I like. Okay, let's close that up. Actually, uh, alt click evolution and type in value equals time multiplied by 500. Uh, the multiplication is, if it's on your numpad, it's right above 9, and uh, otherwise, if you're on a laptop, it's shift 8, which is the asterisk. It's the little star. All right, now click out of it, and as you scroll through the timeline, it, you know, does its thing. All right, now scroll up in the timeline and close the black solid here. And let's hit enter and call it explosion. I did not explode. I-O-N. Yeah, explosion. I think that's how you spell it. Whatever, it works. So there you go. Let's close up the fractal, uh, up in effects controls, close fractal. Uh, we're on the explosion layer, by the way. So close fractal, right click under it, and then go to uh, color correction. I'm sorry, not color correction, perspective, CC sphere. Uh, click CC sphere, we got a sphere here. Drop down light, uh, set the intensity to zero, close light, open shading, and bring the ambient up to, I don't know, somewhere you like it. I kind of like it here. All right, close shading, close sphere, and uh, Right under sphere, right click, color correction, uh, curves, here it is. And then grab blue, bring it up to about there. And then grab red, drag it down there. So we've got this nice blue. All right, now right click on the explosion, go to blending mode, and hit add. I like it. OK, let's go ahead and close curves. Uh, drop down CC sphere and then kind of just bring down the radius a little tiny bit there I like that um, so let's go ahead and move CC sphere down to right here right about here yeah where do we put our lens flare center it try and get it like on the center of your lens flare I guess is what we want right yeah Right about there is where the center of the lens flare is. Now go ahead and um, take the uh, the rectangle tool, which is right here, and mask out from the middle, the very middle, up. Uh, not the very middle of the video, from the very middle to the far left off the composition right here. And then take it all the way up so that it's kind of the same over here on the right side and then above the video here. So the mask, only the bottom middle line uh, actually goes across the video. And then here you can see where it, what it does is it you know makes the sphere half. Now let's drop down the mask in the timeline and feather it just a bit. That's good. Now let's close up the explosion layer. And then uh, grab our mouse tool. And then um, in sphere, drop down rotation and then rotate it on its x-axis towards the camera. So negative 10 for me is what it, what it is. Um, so it aligns with the horizon more properly. Close up rotation. Now um, go to uh, one second into the video, which is where the explosion is at, it, the lens flare is at its brightest. And then drop the radius to zero. Hit the stopwatch for radius, and then go five to the fifth second, or uh, four seconds into the explosion at the end of the explosion, and up the radius until you see it come out the sides of the, um, like, until you just see it go past the outside of the lens flare. Let's close lens flare. 
Um, so it kind of, you know, just fills the screen pretty nicely there. So we can turn back on lens flare. And there you go. Now let's go ahead and close CC Sphere. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab Fractal Noise on the Explosion layer and hit Control C. Now remember it's there. Just we copied it. That's all we did. Now right here next to uh, above your effects, click on the Project tab and then create a new comp. Same dimension, same time, everything. Okay. And then in the timeline, right click, new, solid, same dimensions. Okay. Effects controls. Click into effects to the blank space in effects controls. And then hit control V. So we just copied, paste. I guess you can go edit, copy, edit, paste. But I just, you know, control C, control V. And then just paste it in there. So it's the same stuff, the same evolution. And uh, now let's close up, let's close fractal noise, and let's name this layer uh, burning ground. Okay? So now under fractal noise, right click, color correction, curves, uh, grab red, bring it up, and grab blue, bring it down. So we've got this orange fiery ish looking type thing. All right, now close up curves, and then one more thing. Right click under curves, and then uh, go to generate, and then get circle. Now, oh, I'm sorry, not yet. Delete that circle effect, and okay, down here in the timeline, right click, new, solid, okay, and then hit enter, and call this mask. All right, now right click in the effects controls for mask, generate, circle, invert, and change the color to black. Okay, now go ahead and drop down the feather thingy here, and then up the feather just a bit. Okay, close that. Now, um, set the radius to zero. Or, I mean, negative. You have to make it negative because we have a feather, and you have to make that feather disappear before, and don't go too far or you'll do this. So, here we go. So, negative 23 is what I have. And um, and it's all black. Now let's go to uh, about one second into the video, which is where the circle explosion is also at zero, a size zero. And then hit the radius stopwatch. Now go to the fifth second. And then size it up, not all the way, just until it gets to almost to the edge here. I'm actually going to up the feather just a little bit more on the circle. Do not let it go outside of the comp there. Okay, it has to stay inside, no touching the edges, no touching. All right, now let's go to comp one, and then up here above effect, the effects panel, uh, click on project, and drag down comp two under the flare. And right click, blending mode, uh, difference, I believe is what I, all right, let's turn off uh, flare and explosion, and not difference. I don't remember what I used. Let's try. Uh huh. Exclusion. Ew, gross. Never use exclusion. Subtract. Uh, no. Maybe next time. You know what? <laughs> Let's use burn. I get. Ew. No. Ew. That was the wrong. That was classic. Let's use linear burn. No. Mode. Dark in color new. We need to make the black go away, but it still has to look like color dodge. That's a burning type. So it looks like it's burning stuff, um, but it's, it also got rid of the black behind it. So that's good. That's what we want. Burning fire -ness. Okay, now make comp 2. Actually, I'm going to enter and call this ground burn. Brun? There you go. Bur Bunner? B-U-R-N. There. That's the ground burn composition and I'm gonna make it a 3d layer by clicking this uh, hold W and go over the X and rotate it until you kind of get it you know kind of the same rotation as the horizon and then drag it down here now let's turn on the flare and go back to where the flare starts and kind of try and center it onto the flare there let's also click on explosion the explosion layer turn it back on and effects controls 
uh, click on sphere, make sure that that is centered on the flare. Everything's centered on the flare. Okay, good. So, now what we're going to do is grab ground burn, turn off the flare layer, go to five seconds into the video, and um, actually we don't even need to go five seconds. Just go to like, I don't know, somewhere in the middle of where it's exploding, which this is good. Now grab uh, on the ground burn layer, hit S for size, and uh, scale it up until the burning effect, the edges of the burning effect, kind of meet where the edges of this explosion is. So, there. That's about right. Because, remember, when we set that circle, I can go ahead and turn off uh, explosion. When we set the circle to size up, we made it size up the same amount of time and the same speed as the explosion layer here so uh, all we got to do is size it up and it will match with our explosion automatically once we get the edge of the burning to the edge of the explosion circle so that's good we got it um, I'm actually gonna grab it and what did I do no no yeah we're good okay everything's good Whew. all right so it automatically sizes up with our roundish explosion type thing. See, everything's burning as it comes out. That's good. So if you got it um, done correctly, or and uh, you know, so, so the round explosion should look like it's burning the ground underneath. Underneath it. Now let's turn back on the lens flare, and as you can see, it it just becomes exactly what we set out to make. Let's hit zero for that uh, preview thing. And then it just kind of fills the frame with that explosion. Now, obviously, it needs a little bit of work on the edges, um, but because this is just a tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is here. And um, there we go. That's the effect. There you go. <clears throat> now, if you want to, at five seconds here, go one half a second before the end of the explosion, which is uh, the fourth second from the beginning, which is where the explosion or the circle starts sizing up from zero uh, four seconds from that um, uh, go three and a half seconds forward from that and then add a new in the timeline solid and make it white okay okay and now hit uh, T for opacity and click the uh, stopwatch and bring it to zero percent and then go all the way to the very end of the explosion which is uh, for here five seconds and then make it 100 percent now it's completely white and you can fade it into whatever scene or or footage you want and basically it's done i uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope that i went slow enough that you guys kept up i really know i know that i was really speeding mainly because i wanted to get this done i've been doing this maybe 15 time uh, 15 times, no, it probably like five times a day since I've, um, you know, set out to try making this, so hopefully it works this time. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please request more tutorials if you want any. Um, I am happy to help, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut up now because um, I'm just putting more space on my computer, so goodbye.